Yes, guys, so back again. Um, I don't even know what episode it is, uh, but this is the start of the new off-season series. Um, obviously, prep is finished, and as you know from the title, this is how we're approaching legs. Um, we are, I am now three weeks post-show. H, hey, how many weeks post-show are you? Seven. Yes, yeah, so I'm three weeks post-show, H is seven weeks post-show, so we're, it's slightly ahead in the recovery phase for me right now, but um, for me, I am still very much in the hole. I've, my fatigue level's not quite dropped off yet. Um, I'm getting better, sleep is improving, but I'm not quite where I need to be yet. So, um, baseline volume for me still, H is now at full volume again. Um, and we're still on an old training setup. We're waiting, I think we've got maybe one or two more weeks on this training setup, and then we're going to go into um, a new program from Cuba. But while my fatigue's still high, there's no point trying to put new exercise in because it's going to kill me off. Um, so, we're going to run through the session. Uh, I'll talk you through little bits and pieces of why, how we attack certain exercises um, and why and stuff like that. We're already at a bad start because the adductor machine is broke. Um, so, we're about to skip that and go straight into the line hamstring. Uh, but then we're going to talk through each exercise and then we'll uh, have a catch at the end, a wrap up of where we're at um, calories wise and what the plan is now going forward. So, light hamstring, we spoke about this before to be fair. As we're coming up into this, we're not looking to try and get our heels as close to the bum as possible. The hamstring doesn't go that far. So as you, um, if you stand up normally and you just pull your heel up to your bum and where your hamstring stops there, that's the sort of range of movement you're looking for. You don't need to get your heels always to your bum. As soon as you do that, your hips will come off the pad and you'll be throwing the weight onto your lower back. Keep your, your quads forced into the pad, your hips stuck to the chair, and then try and get your drag, it's a drag, it's not a kick. So drag your heels up towards your bum and you'll feel a nice contraction there. So with this, we've, we've I got an app now called Measure, and on it's on Harry's phone, and we put it on here, and it measures the angle of which the um, the hat squats at. Because obviously it's a hydraulic one, it moves up and down. So as you move it, it changes the, it changes the degree the degrees that's on the screen. So obviously now we know we always have it on 40 degrees, so uh, we can always put it back to the same mod to keep the variables the same. So we move it down, so it's back to 40 degrees. Leave it there. So the app's called Measure. So actually shout out Finn because Finn told us about this. And it's, it's so good because with this you can't, you can't measure how high the angle is. And it makes a difference into obviously the way your knees feel, the way the weight feels, everything. So this is the perfect way to make sure everything's the same. So this is the Watson hat squat. Me personally, I'm not a fan of the squat variation at all. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't suit me uh, in terms of, I have to feel it, my knees a lot more after the end of the row, so I have to really de detach myself from any sort of ego lifting. Um, and I'm actually weak as shit on most squat variations. Um, there's natural lads in the gym that can do it a lot more than I can, but I have to just concentrate on making sure I, I hit it my quads and where I want to feel it. So the setup on here is it's reverse banded from the top down. 
um, and the, your, your foot position wants to be hip width apart, toes out to 10 and 2 that will allow your hips to open up and you can get full range of movement. You want to get it so your hamstrings are coming all the way down to your car, so full depth. Um, nice controlled, no jerky movement, that's what's going to affect people's knees. In most squat variations, people have knee issues because they don't control the weight. So if you're in full control of the weight all the way down, and then push all the way back up, the transition is nice and smooth. The way I explain to my clients is, if you have like a big concrete ball at the top of the hill, if you push it down, there's no way you're going to be able to change the direction of that ball and try to push it back up. But if you ease it down slowly, you've got more chance of being able to change the direction of the, of the weight and push it back up in a nice smooth transaction without hurting your knees. a little bit. Again here, Harry's I got one set. Harry's got one set, I've got one set, but Harry's back to full volume now, so I'm still doing baseline volume, so everything that Harry's doing, I take one set off. I have no intensifiers and stuff like that, so Harry's doing a lot more volume than I am now, so I have to make sure that he's going through his session at maximum effort. I'm still one rep in reserve, so I'm not fully pushed myself yet because I'm not ready for it. My thought process is not trying to get as heavy as I can. Like I say, the guys in the gym actually do five plates on this. But for me, longevity to keep my knees in a good position so I can train for a long period of time is a lot better. Like I felt that set, that set in my quads and that's what I need to do because I've been there before where I've trained in the past and I've trained as heavy as I can thinking that's what I need to do. It is not worthwhile, especially on a squat variation. Leg press, I'm fine with. The squat variations I've always been shit at and it's just a maturity thing I've realised now that not to push these sets and just ruin myself for no reason. So. Um, it's not heavy, it's not impressive, but it does a job. So Grant's back in the court again. He's got uh, four weeks out now to two bros, natural, um, classic. So he did the PCA meetings with me and he wants to do some more, so we found another show for him to do. Uh, so he's got four weeks out now. Looking better now than he maybe did before. We filled him up, he's cruising to the show. Um, so I'm excited for that another coaching experience for myself. Let's get him on stage again, so uh, four weeks out for Grant now, so keep watching. This is where training with Harry is long because even though me and even though Harry's way bigger than I am, we, our hip height is pretty much just not too far off. He's got a long body. So when we got machines like this, I have to constantly readjust because we're different heights. So I want to sit here and there's about a metre behind me where Harry's got to sit. It's not just a long body. Um, this is where you also you need to learn your own setup. Just because you train with someone doesn't mean you have to have the same setup as them. Me and Harry have different setups on pretty much every machine because his limb length is longer than mine. Um, his, his torso length is longer, so we have to make sure that we're obviously setting machine up to fit each individual, not just between us. So, 
our leg extension with this we want to make sure you're fully held into the chair here okay so when you're in you want to make sure that your hips are stuck in the machine so really drag down knees some people use the, the um, wraps the straps that they use for deadlifting times those in and really pull your hips down this is the only machine um, probably the most underutilized and misused leg machine there is because this is the only machine where your quads get truly short no leg press no squat radiation will get your quad truly short like this does so you have to maximize that remember at the top of the rep really squeeze it in and hold it make sure you get into a contraction there don't just kick the weight around um, utilize the fact you can get your quad nice and short and make the most of it yeah. yes Drive up, control. Yes. So single leg, single leg leg press, Watson one. Um, this is actually quite a nice leg press to be fair, Watson a good piece of kit. Um, we banded it this time this way around. So normally we reverse banded it this way, we banded it from the bottom. Um, this makes a lockout on the quad a lot harder. Again, utilizing less weight because, um, because it gets harder at the top, you don't need as much weight on there. But it's a real nice burn on the quads. Um, so we used to reverse band it, but we're using this setup now until Cuba reprograms the sessions. Um, so we've got about two more weeks with it, but it's really, really nice. So I still, kind of, I still kind of find it hard leaving one rep in the tank. Like a, I can judge it, but it's not, it's not good um, in terms of I'm programmed to kill myself in sets like this especially. Um, you find now a lot of people starting to let's just go away from doing failure every set because they can't recover from it. Um, so I pick my battles with stuff like a leg press, I always bury myself. So to go one rep in reserve is quite hard, but hopefully it won't be for too much longer. Two weeks, back at it. Let's go. Yes. 
Easy, easy. Keep moving it. Yep. Good. All the way out. Lock it out. Lock it out. Full depth. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Drive. Let's go. Press. Good. How many? Easy. Let's go there. Work. Yep. Get it in. Push. Push. Okay, so this is the standing hamstring. Again, the Watson one is not too heavy, to be fair. That's why Harry had to put weight on it already. Um, if you see this though here, again, he's, he's dragging the weight up and he's, he's not aiming to get his, uh, his heels to touch his bum. He comes up to full contraction there. He keeps his quad force against the pad and drags his heel up. You're never, you're never gonna get your, your heel all the way to your bum. If you stand up straight and you pull your hamstring up, that's where it's shortest, okay? There's no point trying to get it past that otherwise you're just trying to use past the tissue to make it go further up. So you're only going to go, where's Harry going now? That's the perfect place. In the back, do it, what's up? All right, number one, four, five, and do green. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, shit. I'm going to make brand new time to go to. Okay, so 45 hyper. This is a hamstring and glute focus exercise, okay? Not a, not a low back one. People use this for back extension and you keep your back nice and straight. My back's rounding, it's supposed to be rounded, okay? So I'm leaning all the way over, stretching all the way out. I'm thinking as if it's a hamstring curl, so my heels are digging into the pad trying to do a hamstring curl. And I'm, when, once my back's rounded, I'm then pushing up my back rounded, making sure it's all of my hamstrings and glutes and squeezing the shit out of them. We're only doing body weight, it's not heavy, but the contraction, if you get it right, it's, it's bang on, it's perfect. It's hard to get it right. So you see how Hitch's back's rounded here. He's not going all the way up and trying to get his back extension. He's, he's forgetting this, it's here and here, okay? He's making sure he's, he's on his hamstrings and glutes the whole time. So he stretches all the way over, then he squeezes up with his hamstrings and glutes. He's not, nothing low back, all hamstrings and glutes. This is a calf raise, but this is a toe press, okay? So your, your toes are right on the bottom of the, on the uh, leg press. I find this, I probably get the best connection with this over its normal standing or a seated. Um, we do switch it around, but we mainly do the toe press and calf raises. Um, and you have to treat calves like any other muscle. You have to put it through the same progressive overload. Um, you have to put it on the same tension and hit it, make sure it's going to the same failure points that you would do a bicep, a quad, a pec. Make sure you do the same thing with your calves. Otherwise, people say, oh, I can't get them to grow. You're just not training properly. It's as simple as that. Put the effort in. 
Um, and even if it's at the end of your session, make sure you put in full effort in. After you've done the whole leg session, you're taxed, you're tired. It's easy to kind of skip out on it and not, and not do full effect, but it only shows because no one has good cars. I don't have good cars myself, but not many people have good cars. The ones that do, put the effort into like simple exercises, repeat, get heavy with it, your cars will grow. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's noticeable from the front the most, isn't it? Yeah. Still full from the back, but even your sides are nice and tight still. Um, I think the plan now is we'll drop you back in this week, pull you down a little bit, pull you down a little bit, um, put some expenditure yes. back in. Because I think going to a natty show, the natty is going to come in shredded. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So we want to go prepared. We're not a million miles off, so we may as well dig. we've got four weeks to dig for a couple of weeks. Yeah. We'll keep you some high days in here and there. Um, and then go from there. Is it going to be similar to what I did PCA? Yeah. But okay. it, we won't, won't be going as... Not too low, is it? Yeah. yeah. I would I just reduce them down from today, put some put some suspension back in. Your steps are at what eight K now? And obviously your work yeah. is a bit higher. Still yeah, still no cardio, so. Yeah. I don't want you to get too, I don't want you to get flat, but I know we can push through in a lot more now and still stay tight. Yeah. So we can you know, four feet to run down and then force some force some food in. Cause last time I didn't want to force too much food in case it spilled, but obviously now we know you won't. So we go to, and you won't feel this fatigue this time going down either because you're still fresh. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll get you checking back to you later and we'll pull down. Yeah. yeah. Nice and broke. Yeah, no, I'm happy, man. Four weeks, four weeks and they'll be back on stage again. Classic, uh, natural classic. Um, two bros, so looking good. So that's the session wrapped up of how we approach legs. Like I say, it's a bit of a, it's not probably a fair indication because I'm still running deep volume training, still leaving one rep in reserve. So it's probably not the best session to kind of showcase how we train normally, but that is obviously the setup we've been running for a while. And um, like I said, I think we've got two weeks left until Cuba Week programs and everything um, that we start the pop off season. Um, for me now, I am sitting at uh, this morning I was 92.3 kilo, uh, which I'm guessing because I don't know my actual stage weight because I didn't take scales that day. Um, I'm guessing I was about 87 and a half on stage. Um, so I'm not drastically out of um, scope from where I was for the stage. Um, and that is now three weeks post show. Uh, handling very, very well. Food focus. I don't think my food focus has been high, but my hunger and my appetite is super high. Um, nothing that eats satisfies, nothing touches the sides. Um, I could eat and eat and eat and still think what's next. Um, so I've managed it quite well. I've learned from my past mistakes that I've made myself um, and I've not forced it too much. So calories now, baseline calories are about 4,100 on a training day and about 3,600 on a non-training day, um, give or take. Um, so that's that's obviously a good amount of food as well. And I still want more food. Every meal I still would like more food. Um, but we're managing it well. Cuba's very, very happy. I'm happy with the look. Um, we are definitely getting softer, but obviously I'm not married to being lean. Um, I know what the goal is. I know I'm, I, I personally have a ugly off-season look. Um, and I, as soon as I start to add body fat, my shape goes, and I just, it's just not nice to look at. So um, I'm not married to looking lean, but obviously it's, you have to get your head around. You won't look as good as you have been looking for the past eight, 12 weeks, whatever it's been. Um, but training wise, like I say, still one rep in reserve, um, still, taking, still taking a little bit off because my fatigue is still high. And I'll be truly honest with you, I thought coming out of the back of prep, I'll be fresh, I'll be ready to attack it, and I'll be 100%, but it's not happening that way. Um, I think a couple of reasons. One, I don't think I realised how fatigued I was during prep, um, so I didn't obviously account for that. And two, because I've not really rebounded too hard, 
Um, I'm still next. I'm still in a relatively lean condition, and obviously work's still been tough. Um, still got all the clients on, still busy doing whatever I'm doing. So um, I haven't probably re relaxed and recovered as much as I probably thought I would as well. Um, but it's a learning curve as well. Before I would have probably just gone all at it, um, like pulling the china shop and just ruined myself. But because we pulled back and Cuba's realised that I told him I feel tired, whatever, we've managed it really well. So I'm sitting in a much better position now. So I think my sleep is actually improving. As I take you today, I'm actually starting to sleep properly now. Um, they're maybe waking up once or twice now rather than six times, which obviously makes a massive difference. Um, so we're in a good position, still can be better. I think I've got like two more weeks and I should be coming out of the hole properly, but we're managing it um, nice myself now. Um, three post shows, I've got probably four, four weeks now to manage, uh, to manage bloods, um, see where my health markers are at go from there. But um, very, very happy. It's nice to have Peter back, it's nice to be back in the gym. It's nice to have energy to um, actually want to be on camera and uh, get the sessions in. So, uh, yeah, all good for me. Watch your side to him. Um, um, seven or eight weeks post show now. Um, hey, you hey, you We've lost it. There you go. Blood's just done. Um, all good, all in a good place. Um, food, I put, I put 10 kilos on pretty quick, to be fair. Um, Probably within probably where Carlton is now, I was ten kilos up at this point, whereas you're eight or ish. Yes, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Um, but now I'm thirteen total, but that's eight weeks on. So um, a big jump to start off with, and then it slowed down quite a lot. And I've actually got a bit tighter over the past few weeks as well. Um, not in a bad position. Uh, Cooper seems happy, happy to push on now. Uh, back to full training volume. Food will be going up again this week. I think he said. So yeah, just pushing on now, um, ready for a long period of growing. So this is the show, so that even though, again, me and H trained together, well, we did um, shows around a similar sort of time, we was in completely different states at the end of the prep, um, in terms of Harry's mental state to my mental state and my physical state to Harry's physical state were completely different. So he needed to get out of that hole as quick as possible for his own mental and physical state he was in. My physical state was bad, but in terms of mentality of doing the shows, I was okay at that point. Obviously, oh, I thought I was okay, I was pretty bad in the end, yeah. but, um, but obviously H needs to get out of that hole. He's got a young family, he's got to be present to help out, like that. he needed that. I don't have that, I go home and yes, I have clients to look after a dog, but that's it. Um, so it's different in that as well, you have to and obviously, yeah, got you, you have to be, obviously be mindful of every person's individualities are different, and there's a big difference in that. No? And it did as well, putting that amount of weight on that quick, as though it might sound pretty extreme, within a week I felt great again, you know what I mean? Um, a real big change, uh, it really does make a difference putting food back in and getting a bit of body fat straight back on. Yeah. So uh, where, whereas for me, I'm three weeks and I'm still, I'm better, like say I was 60% before, I'm probably 75% now, but obviously he went straight back up to 85, 90%, which is a big difference. Um, but yeah, like I said, Hake went with 10 kilos, I think I'm about six, six and a half up now. Um, so I'm starting to get to that position where he is now. Um, body fat is slowly starting to increase. Um, managing it very, very well. But I'm actually having two cheat meals a week. Um, one is on a Friday evening. I will change the train set plenty more. One is on a Friday evening um, because we have push and arm top up on a Friday now. And legs, so that's uh, evenings are and then legs early Saturday morning. So I have a cheat meal Friday night. There's a bonus calories of random two workouts. And then I have another one over the week at some point. Um, but our training has changed because there's set days now. So it's push Monday, yeah. pull Wednesday, pulling hams Wednesday, push and arm top uh, Friday, and then legs Saturday. So it's some set days now. Um, it's worked quite well so far, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Um, again, with H having the family, me having work, business, um, and we like to have four days on and uh, have three days rest of the week. It suits well for us. Um, we don't like to have revolving days because we like to plan a week's out and stuff like that. So, I think that's everything coming for this video. Um, obviously, we've got a lot more energy now. There's been more content coming, so let us know what you want to see. Um, when we go to more gyms, is the sort of videos you want to see people? If can we get people into the videos? Obviously, do is sick. Um, for example, Chris Bum says not to come to White House gym, but if it's someone that you think you'd like to see the video with, let us know. If it's gyms you want us to go visit, let us know, or topics you want us to cover, then we will do that. Um, last thing from me is, like we, like we said, we're both uh, completely uh, TRT now. Um, I've took everything out and it's on TRT, test only, and uh, two I use a GH a day. Um, in April, yeah, pretty much natural now. Um, so, yeah, everything else is, that's been taken out. Uh, recovery phase, that poor. That's it, everything else. Well, good, you might see Carl smile now as well. <laughs> Gang shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>